Welcome, welcome to episode seven. I am Josue. This is my beautiful wife, Yarixa. And this is the, the Wild, Wild Roots, Roots Podcast. Podcast. And if you're into consciousness, health, and conspiracies, please hit the like button, the subscribe, and comment down below. Yes, yes. Today, we have an interesting topic. We're going to be talking about music. Yeah. <laughs> There's really a lot going on with music in today's day and age. Oh, yeah. And actually, music was probably the first conspiracy that I got into. Oh, yeah, me too. Really? <laughs> yeah, when I first learned about the Illuminati. You say? Yeah. <laughs> For me, it was like, I don't remember how old I was exactly. I was, for, I think it was getting close to like 17, yeah, 16, so, something same. like that. And I remember watching this interview with um, a rapper called The Game. Oh. Or Game. And um, he was talking about like the Illuminati. And, but he didn't even really want to talk about them. Because uh. he was like, oh, you know, you know keep it quiet kind of uh. kind of thing. So I was like, huh, that's interesting. And then from him, I started like digging deeper into it. And seeing like all these celebrities freaking doing a lot of the same rituals and then like a lot of the same hand signs, like in public too, yeah. for pictures. It's not like you're talking and you like do yeah. something, you know, <laughs> it's like purposely posing with the eyes over the, you oh, know, yeah. like this over the eyes and doing all this symbolical stuff where I was like, holy crap, there's, there's really something going on here. And that did lead me to like, oh, okay, so there is a control group trying to influence people in such a way through the music mm. and i remember that being the first thing that kind of led me down the rabbit hole and then that kind of led me to other things like 9-11 and then factory farming pretty much every other conspiracy after that but i do remember music being the first thing yeah i think for me it was um I think the first thing I ever heard about music was, like, Eminem's music made this kid kill his family or something. Well, I've never heard that. No? Uh-uh. Well, supposedly, like, he killed his family, and then they were asking him, like, why'd you do it? Why'd you do it? And mm -hmm. he said that he kept hearing Eminem's, like, lyrics playing in his head. And I guess he was, like, singing the lyrics while uh -huh. he killed his family. And Whoa. so... I was like, that's crazy, you know? So that's when I stopped listening to Eminem. <laughs> and then, because I was like, well, that's like super demonic, like crazy. And then, I don't know if it was YouTube. Was there YouTube back then? Yeah. That's how yeah. I learned about it. <laughs> yeah, because I just remember watching a video on like the Illuminati and how like certain songs, when you play them backwards, like they're saying like, like, I don't know, like, oh something about satan and stuff yeah, like that demonic like messages yeah demonic messages and then um so then there i was playing all these songs backwards and it's like crazy how you can really hear the messages yeah. that it has and um but yeah and then i started seeing everybody like with the hand signals and then the whole illuminati title and stuff and then like even like i remember showing my mom and telling her that all the even the Mexican ones, the Mexican oh, yeah. singers were in it too and stuff. And there's a video on it, and then she's just like, "No, like this too, like this is reaching kind of thing." Yeah. But I was like, "It's real." And she didn't want to believe it because it was like music that she listened to. Or? Probably because mm -hmm. yeah, it's all all of them. I mean. Yeah. They're all the same, and then um, but then that's when I stopped listening to music completely. Because mm. I was like, it's kind of hard to, like, know which ones are yeah. okay, you know? Especially, like, I remember this song Alejandro by um, um, Lady Gaga. Oh, okay. I guess that's, like, a really bad song. and It sounds familiar. And um, I was going to sing, but I'm too bad. <laughs> <laughs> or just say the, what some of the lyrics are. Alejandro. Oh. <laughs> that's all I remember. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like this catchy, like very catchy um, beat, and then yeah. like the way she—I mean, she sings really beautiful. She has a beautiful voice, so it's like it was on the radio twenty-four-seven, 
And, like, I remember, like, I would catch myself singing it, and then I'd be like, what the heck, like, stop. <laughs> They're doing it and to it me. And it gets stuck in your head, huh? Yeah. They do, they do such a good job at, like, they have it down to a science, how to make it catchy, how to make it to where people really get it stuck in their heads, and, yeah. like, so you can't get away from it. And then, obviously, they own the radio station so they get yeah. to choose what music gets played onto the radio and station. it gets played like 20 times in one hour like yeah. straight up like like crazy make sure yeah. everybody who's listening to the radio hears it yeah it's kind of like the tv huh because on the tv like the news people like it's different news people but it's the same, the same exact yeah <laughs> uh, same message, yeah, message. <laughs> and so it's the same thing with the music um with the radio stations because it's like you're listening to different radio stations but they all have the same songs playing over and over another song that i remember that was like really catching like that that was always on the radio was that yummy song by um justin bieber <laughs> mm. and like i remember like i was like everywhere i would go like they would just play that yeah because I stopped listening to the radio as well. Yeah, so did I uh, at one point. It's crazy because, you know, there was... I can't remember the exact year when they changed the frequency that they would play the music at to oh. 440 on the radio. So it, it completely, like, changed the whole vibe of the music coming from the radio, no matter what was playing from the radio. Oh, just really? the frequency itself, yeah. And it's crazy because, like, after I you know did lots of mushrooms and changed my way of eating yeah there was a point to where i got to where i couldn't listen to the radio anymore whatsoever mm -hmm. without it literally hurting my brain okay. like it freaking hurts when and especially like i don't ever listen to the radio when i'm in my car but the few times that i get in other people's cars oh, yeah. and then they have the radio playing and then it's just going and i'm just like trying not to pull my hair out <laughs> oh you know what that's true my head does start hurting also um when the tv is on oh yeah yeah and that's why it's one of my biggest pet peeves like when the tv is on and yeah. it's just going and going and i'm just like why are we even having the tv on right yeah. now? <laughs> like, especially with commercials like when commercials oh, come yeah. on, on the radio oh my goodness mm -hmm. it's like yeah, I know. Um, sorry. Did go, I ahead. go ahead. Um, I was listening to... I think my friend was in the car. And so it was kind of quiet. And she turned on the radio. And then and, and when I was in Arizona, when this whole um, pandemic was going on. And then um, and then what I heard was the com them saying that the all the zoo animals had the, the shot now so it was safe to go to the zoo and like and they played that over and over and over yeah. and over and i was just like like literally they would play like one song and then it was the commercial and it was the zoo commercial and then i was just like this is insane and then they'd be like oh and if you haven't gotten yours come get yours now uh whatever whatever you know the website but it's like crazy because like they really drill it on to you. Yeah. And then I remember thinking like, oh, the radio station is kind of weird now because it's like barely any music, mostly commercials. And a lot of talking and yeah, especially because like when I was working at a mechanic shop and the Mexicans had their the radio playing, mm -hmm. like on the Mexican radio they were talking about the vaccine all the time, like and then oh, yeah, having so called doctors and experts on like oh, yeah, i'm a doctor like oh you should go get it this and that like oh take care of your family blah 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 it's like dude it's the fucking radio you could have anyone on <laughs> to be an expert you know and then they're just telling people what to go do and i don't know like mexicans like to listen to people who are like on tv or on yeah. radio and stuff like that so it's like damn man they're leading my people like all messed up yeah, I know, because my mom even tells me, too. I guess there is somebody, I forgot if it was on TV or on the radio, but they were like, oh, no, I would never get it. I would never get that vaccine. And then, like, a week later, they're like, oh, um, I changed my mind. I think it's very safe, and I even got it already. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> and, like, and my mom was like, it was so weird. Like, you could tell they got in trouble and, like, their their careers are probably going to end. Yeah. For saying that they didn't agree and with it. And that's the problem with, uh, luckily, nowadays, like, you have, like, podcasts and different things. So, it's not so necessary to try landing, like, that kind of 
job if you want to be a talk show host yeah. or you want to be able to do things like that because they have such a tight grip on it like yeah. if you don't follow their rules they're gonna fire you they're gonna you know try destroying your career so you don't you're not able to get hired anywhere yeah. else and all that kind of stuff and for what <laughs> like i know. You know it's crazy it's not that i don't know it's not that great but and then one of those fake doc- well, I don't know if it's a fake doctor, but those, <laughs> <laughs> those doctors that They're they show on the TV, yeah. um, on like this news place, him too. Mm. My mom said that the same thing happened. He was recommending not to get the vaccine because it's new and this and that. And yeah. then, and then the next episode, like he was recommending everybody to get vaccinated. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like, are they that? You know. Uh, what is it called wishwashy or they where they were to flip back and forth on their thoughts I just know. like that like that fast or it's most likely they're being influenced and being told what to yeah. do and what to say and like what to promote yeah i wonder if they do it on purpose because it's like like didn't they know that they were gonna say they didn't agree with it at first maybe not because i mean they do get to talk live and stuff like that so there is um the possibility that they're just speaking mm. and kind of maybe maybe they didn't have an exact script or anything like that but once you go off too far then they come tell you like hey you know this is what you got to say this is what you got to do and it's crazy because it's for sure influence you know that reminds me of um last like last week i listened to this interview by uh, crazy bone mm. from bone thugs and harmony mm-hmm. um and he he was talking about this meeting that they had for for influence and they got invited like a bunch of rappers and like mm. you know hip hop artists and stuff like that got invited to this meeting the secret meeting on a private property and all that and before they started the meeting they had to sign you know terms and conditions like saying like oh uh if you agree to, you know, listen into the meeting, then you can't talk about it publicly. If you do talk about it publicly, then your career and everything will pretty much be over. Mm. So some people were like, oh, okay, no, I'm going to get out of here. Other people stayed. Mm-hmm. And they went through the meeting. And what ended up happening is that, you know, some guy got up there, started talking. Um, and he basically told them that what they were doing what they had what they were planning is cuz they had a lot of investors into private prisons mm. so they had millions and millions of dollars into these prisons and they were saying oh we have a we're going to use rap to end up making more people go to prison to and then in return if you take part in this and making music that's going to help get more prisoners into prison then you're since you're an employee you'll be able to own shares in the prisons as well so you're going to be able to make even more money so there's people out there making money making music to get people to act crazy and go into prison Mm -hmm. and every time someone goes to prison they make more money the more prisoners they have that's what's so messed up about the private prison business is like why are prisons private first of all because like if you make a corporation private like that that means the only way their business is successful is if more people go to prison Mm. so then you have these rich people who are putting millions and millions of dollars because who else is going to invest into prisons like you know only the super rich people so they're then there are already people who control record labels and all that Mm -hmm. So now they're not only do they control record labels, but then they control the prison. So now they're going to influence their record labels to make music to help benefit and help profit their other business, which is the prisons. Mm. And they're pretty much they pretty much decided to go with um, rap and hip hop because that was the easiest one. That was the best one. It was already working good. Mm. And yeah, some people left that. Like, they said that they're in that meeting, just, like, their jaws just dropped, like, and then someone was like, is this a joke? And then I guess they, like, took that guy out, oh, and people tried, like, helping, and then they they pulled out a gun and stuff, and then other people left, and then they were just reminded that they signed the, the contract. So the guy didn't talk about it for, like, 10 years, mm. 
and then it was just eating up at his consciousness because he he, he waited till he got out of the game to start talking about it like because oh. he just couldn't hold it back anymore but he said that he was just watching it all play out. i was like damn like they actually pulled it off they're doing it you know and then what do you see so they the plan was to get rid of any uplifting music anything positive mm-hmm. anything with a good message anything like that and just leave in all the freaking demon time music all the you know shooting nothing but is this and that like all this crappy stuff that we see in yeah. the music nowadays like yeah. that's all the music is nowadays and you had these you know rappers not all rappers obviously because some are really from the hood and all that yeah. stuff but there's a lot of them that aren't even about that life mm-hmm. that are talking and promoting that life still yeah and you know and and not only not only are they talking about it but they're also tuning their beats and everything to frequency lower frequencies that are also going to cause this harmony within the person that's listening to the music and it's crazy because you know there's so many people like you know good people or Mm -hmm. like you know how do you say classic i don't want to say just like yeah, just like classy people, you know, from the suburbs and stuff like that. And they're riding in their cars, freaking bumping rap music, gangster oh, rap yeah. and all this stuff, mm-hmm. you know. And to them, you know, it's kind of just like funny and it's harmless, this and that. Even though they're like singing the lyrics and everything. But to other people who are actually in the hood or actually living, it's easier to be like, get pumped up to go make a drug deal. Get pumped up to go shoot some enemies mm. and do all these different things. And it's just like, damn, if they only knew it was all planned and specifically targeting them so they could make mistakes so they could go out and make some rich person more rich yeah and more profit that's all they're looking at people in the hood in the ghettos is they're looking at them as profit as test dummies too because that's why they dropped off all the drugs and the guns there like Mm -hmm. you know the cia had a big um uh big part in making coke and all these different drugs and weapons into the into the hoods Mm -hmm. and then they have a big job of freaking creating music like to also benefit them because if you look at the music industry another thing is mk ultra oh yeah how many artists are under mk ultra i don't know Mm -hmm. if you've seen like in their music videos i've seen different music videos where they all like share different signs that they're yeah. under some mk ultra like the butterfly is a big symbol mm-hmm. and all these different symbols that they have in the music video to let you know that they're part of you know mk ultra mm-hmm. and mk ultra is what another cia program like so they got their influence in the weapons the drugs and the music you add all those things together and you put them in the hood and you give them to all these different things and then you got a whole recipe of disaster yeah it's not disaster for them it's only disaster for the people for the people yeah that yeah because that reminds me of like cardi b like in her one of her songs she's like i don't clean and i don't cook or something and then her husband uh recorded her cleaning (laughs) and was like she really does clean like you know because her i guess her song was like really hitting yeah so like and then it's true because all these girls are listening to this music and then they're like like the girls nowadays don't know how to clean or cook or anything anymore yeah. like it's like crazy it's not like before but why because now they, they're trying to go to work and they're trying to be independent and have that bag you know <laughs> like it's crazy and so um that's one of them and of course it's influencing all those little girls because i've seen like videos well it's on youtube but like tiktok videos compilations where like little like five-year-olds are singing cardi b songs and stuff which is another crazy part because cardi b said that she would not let her kid listen to her own songs yeah and (laughs) yeah and then everybody in the comment section is like oh she's bad for making these songs whatever whatever and then she's like she like clapped back to (laughs) how they say um in a video and she was like like it's not my fault you let your kid listen to my songs you know that's so funny but it's still that's true it's like if i'm selling poison apples but you still decide to eat the poison apple it's not my fault 
But it's like you could still do something better with your time. Like yeah. you could grow organic apples. Like you don't have to grow poison apples. But but I mean she, that's what I'm saying. Like she's probably under one of those contracts where she has to manipulate the masses, you know. Yeah. yeah. And then doesn't like Jay Z or or one of those like big guys, big guys, um, big time rappers, yeah, uh, own a prison. I'm pretty sure mm-hmm. it's Jay Z. I wouldn't be surprised. I'm not exactly sure if it's him, but, like, Jay-Z is a big one, obviously, under freaking control. Because he has a lot of record labels, no? Mm-hmm. And a lot of people are started under him. Yeah, not only that, but his record label is called Rockefeller. Uh, it's yeah. It's like, come on. Yeah. Like, do you look up to them? Like, obviously, Are you working with them? <laughs> Probably. Yeah, and then you look him and Beyonce, like... When I, I was freaking blown away that they were, when Hillary Clinton was running, mm-hmm. and they were freaking um, at her, what are they called, at her talks and stuff, uh, like, p- bumping her up, promoting her uh, and all that, like, because they needed celebrities like that, because no one was going to see Hillary Clinton, <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> her stadiums were freaking empty as hell the only w- w- way they were able to get anybody in the seats is like oh jay-z's and beyonce are going to be there oh like, my god you know representing her and this and that it's like dude that's crazy like you had to sell your soul to the t like you have zero percent of your soul left if you're over there repping for hillary <laughs> like come on <laughs> you know and the, but people look up to them he's one of the best rappers ever yeah like, it's like dude He's done so much. I guess shit. I haven't even heard any of his raps. <laughs> <laughs> but I do know like I all see. these businesses and stuff that he has. Yeah. Like he's very successful in many different ways. I oh, didn't yeah. even really know he was I knew he was Beyonce's husband, but like I thought I don't know. I thought she married him because he's like a businessman. But like not because <laughs> he's a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't I don't know he's a rapper. Oh, you're funny. (laughs) (laughs) That's what he's mostly known for. Like, Um, you're probably the only person that knows him as a (laughs) businessman. But he is the one that said, I like one of his saying, he's like, uh, he's like, I'm not a businessman. I'm a business, man. (laughs) (laughs) He is the business. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. And it's not to take away from, like, yeah, he's still, I'm sure he still works hard and does all that. But. You still sold your soul. You still probably yeah. did sacrifices and stuff like that. And you're obviously messing with that one witch, bro. Uh, Dane, I can't remember her name. Oh, Veronica the one, the one, the one that, the one, the one that uh, writes like stuff on, with blood. On yeah, the... the one, the lady that does all those weird stuff with Lady Gaga and stuff. Yeah, too. yeah, the spirit cooking. Yeah, yeah. He's oh. friends with her. You see, they see a bunch of pictures. Oh yeah, of them I have seen a lot stuff. of pictures of them. He's friends with a lot of people. Well, yeah. I, like he's he's one of the most famous people. He was in that um, island too. The Jepstein. Mm. Uh, yeah, Epstein. Epstein. <laughs> Jepstein. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Epstein. Yeah. Yeah. He he went to that island a lot too. Yeah. I'm not. I mean, I'm not surprised. It's. It's a common theme you see in those, like, levels of the music industry. Like, the taking a bath in blood. Like, the, yeah. have you seen that in the music yeah. videos? That's one of those signs. Uh, and then, like, a lot of rappers did the whole Jesus thing, like, being hung on a cross. Oh, like yeah. Kanye, Nas. I mean, there's so many. There's so many. There's so many different... And then you'll see, like, the checkerboards and all that stuff across so many of the music videos. Katy Perry is, like, another one that has, like, so much symbology in her music videos. And She's crazy, crazy. She, literally, one of the craziest things that I've ever heard was she, like, made all these people hate this, like, muffin place. A muffin Be- place? Yeah, like, it was, like, a muffin place. Like, they had muffins. Because she went in there and there there wasn't like a gluten free option or something like that, and she was just like pissed because she was like they're not being inclusive or something, mm. and so she like went on Instagram and posted a picture and like said what she had to say, and then all these people went on the page of this little business too, like it wasn't like one of those big businesses, and started leaving bad reviews and stuff just because of that. Oh damn! And then she had to come back and like say sorry because 
Like, it, they were literally getting so much hate yeah. over her posting that. And I was just like, whoa. Have you seen her, like, collapse and stuff on stage? Yeah. She has and, some her, of the, and her eye. Yeah, she has some of the worst collapse, like, collapsings on stage yeah, I've know. ever seen. It's like, what the hell? She's crazy. There's a lot of crazy stuff. Is it? And then also, like, Lady Gaga, for example. Like, none of them really, like, um, hide it anymore. Like, you know how you say, like, oh, my God. Like, she'll say, oh, Satan. Oh, my Satan. Oh. And, like, in her interviews and stuff. Yeah. And, like, when you look at her stuff, like, yeah, it's pretty satanic. Like, her music videos and just, like, like, it's crazy because the music, sometimes, like, I can't tell. It's, like, bad vibes. But then when I look at the video, I'm like, oh, this mm, is kind of oh, yeah, yeah, like, kinda what are they trying to say, you yeah. know? Because I feel like sometimes, like, every, like the words and stuff are they have double meaning. Mm -hmm. But you don't really know until, well, at least me, I don't really know until I look at the video and I'm like, yeah. oh, okay. And then you said, like, how they play it back, like, backwards. So yeah. sometimes, you know, words do, like, when you read a word you see it forward and backwards yeah same thing when you hear it though that's the weird thing cause, yeah you know in time there's when if you're not in time then it doesn't matter which way it goes first mm. that's why the devil all they did was add a d before it and it's evil same thing with you know yeah. so all these di like god is also dog yeah by saying it you know that's why i don't like that word that much yeah. but there's so there's a lot to it in just listening into the words and Sometimes the problem is that most people also aren't listening consciously. They're, yeah. you know, doing other things while they're listening. So they're not picking up on every single message that it's telling yeah. you. Like, and, you know, and then we give them some type of pass for some reason, just because like they're creating art. Technically, they'll be like, oh, yeah. I sold my soul to the devil, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then you're just like, oh, yeah, yeah. And then people are singing that part. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, wait. Did they actually sold this? <laughs> I started asking, like, wait, what does that mean exactly? You know, what does, yeah. that even, what does that even mean when they say that? And you learn, like, oh, well, the only way to sell something is via a contract. Yeah. Via verbal, via spiritual, via, um, you know, actual material. And a lot of these rappers and people or artists and stuff, they're not even reading the contracts fully. Yeah. They're just trusting in these record labels and just signing whatever. And then later on, they start complaining that they're getting screwed and all this stuff. It's yeah. Like, why'd you sign the contract in the mm -hmm. first place, you know? Yeah. Especially, like, what just happened with that one rapper um, that at his concert, there were so many uh, people Travis dead. Scott. Travis Scott. Like, that was crazy, yeah. because, like, when you look at those videos, like, he was totally doing some type of ritual. Oh, yeah. If you look at the stage setup, Bro Sanchez, <laughs> he does oh, such yeah. a great breakdown on it, because he's into um, syncretism as well, but he's very uh, able to break down the symbolism and a lot mm -hmm. of stuff. And if you look at the stage setup with the pyramid, and then there's just a big-ass portal in the middle, yeah. and all these and different things. And it says, things. I'll see you on the other side. I'll see you on the other side when everyone's yeah. like... And then no one's thinking about that, though. Yeah. Like, what does that even mean? But right now, they're trying to, like, with all this Neuralink and all these, like, uploading consciousness and yeah. trying to get consciousness into artificial worlds and stuff like that, it's like... I don't know if you want to die by these people. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. dude, if you get sucked into a portal that they created do you get out yeah. ever because it was your choice to go there it was oh my you know gosh. what kind of music they make you know when and you, you choose to go there yeah i know right that kind of reminds me of the movie we just watched the um in infinite uh-huh because but remember um when the lady got um shot that they're trying to go back into that house and she got shot, and she's like, no, I need to release all these souls. Oh, and yeah, then yeah. it's the wall of just a bunch of souls. Yeah. Like, that's probably dude, how I know. they have when it. I, dude, I know. That's crazy. And the, you know they put it into the movies. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, they they know how to capture souls. This is yeah. an ancient way, uh, a demonic way of, you know, capturing souls, because that's what they feed off of is yeah. the energy. And, you know, when you die and everything, obviously you put off a certain type of energy, and mm -hmm. they love that. Yeah, that's their energy force. So, the, you know what kind of music they're playing, what kind of music they make, and it was like he was going hard when this was all happening. People yeah. were dying. He just kept going because yeah. 
they're doing a ritual yeah you know exactly because there's even like that one girl that was like on camera telling the cameraman and then she pushes the camera and she's just like help help and then um she got in trouble for it instead of like them actually helping yeah and then it's crazy how the news ended up saying that only eight people died but like the people that were there say that there was hundreds and hundreds of people yeah. just laying dead yeah that's pretty wild so even the, the eight media is the number of infinity yeah and so. like the whole i think the album is called eight or something like it has an eight on the cover oh, and I then don't know. like there was oh no and there was eight children on the cover of that album oh really yeah and it's like a big mouth and like they're like coming out or going in oh, i forgot oh yeah yeah that was like the well i haven't seen the cover the album cover but if it was the same as like the entrance into the concert oh yeah 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 it's like this big old mouth yeah Yeah. and then then the children are going in i think and then there's like spirals and then um there is something about eight pillars but like the eight was a big number during that night yeah and then the media ends up saying there's eight people dead it's crazy it's just crazy and the eight is the number of loop is the loop yeah. So these people are going to be trapped for, for who knows how infinite. long. Infi- it could be infinity, infinity because that's what they're trying to do, right? Live forever. These yeah. rich people. Yeah, they're trying to they're live trying forever. They're trying to capture souls and they need souls with them or else, you know, to be able to. They're pretty much using that energy to run their whole um, virtual system. Mm. Yeah, and then also. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, and then during that concert, like, the people just started, um, obviously this is how they started dying is because, like, whatever the beat or the lyrics or whatever, like, was calling them to the stage. So all these people are just, like, going and they didn't even care if they were trampling on people people and stuff. And, like, a lot of people were like, what the heck? Because, like, you know, the mosh pits. Yeah. They're like, even in a mosh pit, like, you're all there to see the, the same person. So, we're all brothers and sisters. So, like, when you see somebody fall to the ground, you pick them up. Like, you don't just tremble them. Yeah. And, like, so it's crazy that this even happened on a, like, at a rap, rapper's concert. And, yeah. You know? Yeah. I don't even, I don't know if I've heard any of his music, so I don't know what it is. But, obviously, it can't be anything good (laughs) yeah i haven't heard his music either but i've only seen like those simple videos but um i'm always surprised when my fellow friends and family are listening to him and like will post his music to like whatever picture or whatever yeah because i'm like what the heck like isn't he so evil (laughs) like i don't know like it's crazy to me that more conscious people are like listening to him still, so it there must be something so addicting to it. Yeah, it does get very addicting. They like I've had songs stuck in my head that I didn't want stuck in my head yeah. before, you know. And it's it's so hard to get it out. It's crazy. They, yeah, they have it down to a T. They know the science behind it. They know how to make music addictive, and you know they put the drums to a certain way and stuff like that. Yeah. And, it's it's messed up because they use it but yeah i mean you have to take responsibility again like you always have to take responsibility at the end of the day of what you allow into your into your life you know mm-hmm. and but it's hard because like i mean no matter where you go you hear it you do stuff like that but at least like you shouldn't allow it into your house yeah into, you know your own like choosing to go and listen to that music even if it's just for whatever and that's why i stopped listening to gangster rap and st- things mm. like that too because like i wasn't trying to live that life anymore i needed to get away from that as much as possible yeah and it's hard because there's still some days where i want to like just put it on and just you know rap to it but you know i don't i choose it. <laughs> you know i choose different music nowadays but yeah i mean i stopped listening to music altogether because it was too hard for me to decipher because um I don't know. Like, I was so new to it. And then I was just like, well, I don't really need music in my life. Like, it's fine. (laughs) Yeah. I have so much going on that, like, I'll just give this up for now. Yeah. But it wasn't until 
Well, now that I met you, that I know the Icaros and stuff. And so I like that. Yeah. And, um, and even like meditations on like online, like it's a little bit iffy for me, especially after like Abraham Hicks. Like I was listening to a lot of her, her videos and stuff. And then I found out like what she does. Like it's like her talking, like her husband is talking through her. Mm. And it's, like, really weird. Like, in some video, like, I watched, um, because I was, like, wondering why her name was Abraham Hicks. So then I, like, looked it up. And then a video of her, like, at the beginning of her talk, like, before she starts talking, like, she's, like, meditating. And then out of nowhere, she starts all, like, going crazy. And it's because her husband, who died, who was successful doing what she's doing now, um ends up like going inside of her oh and then when she's talking it's her husband talking that's why she talks in third person oh uh, i don't know who that is but that sounds crazy <laughs> <laughs> yeah sounds wild as heck. yeah so i saw that and i saw the whole because she has the video of her like husband going inside of her supposedly like the Whoa. spirit and like it's on youtube and um when I saw that, I was like, okay, yeah, I'm going to stop listening to her, you know? Yeah. But she also has, like, meditating, like, guided meditations and, like, mm. beats for meditation and stuff. Yeah. And then I'm like, what the heck? Like, imagine, like, those are crazy to be listening to because they have no lyrics. So you have no idea what the heck is going into your subconscious. Yeah. So it's scary. Yeah. I mean, you definitely have to be careful of, you know, anything, really, but... That's why as you become more more conscious, you have more ability to have that discernment, you know, because that's what it comes down to, having the discernment to know what is good for you, what is not good for you. And if you trust your spirit, if you really, you know, trust yourself, then you're able to be like, all right, this doesn't serve me good. This, you know, oh, this feels good to my soul. You know, it's more likely not saying that you're always right or you're always wrong, but, yeah. you know, you... you you become more conscious you have that more more of a discernment so yeah i think to switch it a little more positive now that we went through all that it, it there is a lot of beautiful to music and this is what i've learned through my journey with mushrooms is that you know the most high is music yeah the most high is the most beautiful beat the most beautiful rhythm the most beautiful harmony that you could ever pick up on and you know uh i wasn't really like i knew about like krishna and all that stuff before i met you but i was i never really dove into it at all and then when you told me that the bhagavad gita means the song to god yeah i was like oh yeah that makes perfect sense yeah because it's all about music that's literally the best praise that you could give the yeah. most high well the bhagavad gita is a whole song like you're supposed to sing it yeah that's beautiful yeah like i wish i knew how to speak it yeah so like because i think to, to me it makes a lot of sense yeah you know to that it would be that because w once you really get into the, what music was for us and why music even started before it got so perverted mm -hmm. it's healing yeah. it's very it's something that comes natural to the human being like the mama just oh, would always sing to the baby like no one had to teach her to sing like oh you're supposed to sing to the baby or anything like that because why nature sings to us automatically yeah. like if you if you live somewhere natural and away from the city then the first thing you hear in the morning the birds are going mm -hmm. everything is just like alive and ma making this music that you listen together and imagine being the most high the the one that gets to hear everything yeah. like all the birds all the animals everything in harmony singing together like especially in the ocean the ocean is just like this big old concert really yeah if you're able to hear it like the yeah. songs that the whales sing the dolphins they're all singing and talking to each other yeah. in such a way where it sounds so beautiful if you're able to you know pick up on it and that's one thing that um i learned through my experimenting with entheogens and not just my experimenting with it but like also other people's experiences and stuff with it because before i ever 
not before I did mushrooms, before I did ayahuasca and stuff, I learned a lot about shamans and their, their Icaros mm. and how they would go into the jungle and the plants would teach them these songs. Mm. And these songs are healing songs. These Icaros, when they're singing them to you under the influence, you can feel them like moving your body just moving this energy mm -hmm. within your body and the first time i ever listened to ikaros on a high dosage of mushrooms like the the shaman's voice it was a woman singing it and she would make these certain like notes and tones where it was like pulling strings like inside of me and i could see the strings moving like my heart was being realigned and shaking and then my stomach and then yeah. she was like pulling all these strings by making her blah, blah, like uh. it, it was weird like mm. i can't make the kind of noises they make and stuff but it wasn't like it was in spanish even mm. though some words are like kind of like spanish because mm. obviously they're from southern america and stuff mm. but I didn't even need to know what she was saying to know she was doing something healing inside of me because mm. I could see it. I had my eyes closed and I could see what's going on inside of me. And it just felt because so, afterwards I felt so liberated. I felt like, oh, this makes the most so much sense. And like it, that's like, it made so much sense to me why when you go to a shaman, you're in your tribe and stuff and you go to a shaman because you're sick or whatever. They ask you three questions when's the last time you laughed when's the last time you danced and when's the last time you sang mm. and those are the they don't ask you oh like or, you know how how do you feel like are you you've been throwing up what is your is your head hurting like you know they ask you these three things because they're in our nature to do something very healing for us and, you know, with the music comes with dancing and you just allowing your body to express itself in such a way, you know, where it just it feels really good. And sometimes you don't even know why you want to move your body, but it just gets moving. And I mean, that's what they take advantage of as well. But if you go back to seeing the, the true music and what it was used for, then you'll find there's still a lot of good music out there. There's still yeah. a lot of people making music, praising the Most High, praising the Mother Earth, and, you know, and that music still feels really good to me. Yeah, most definitely. It's just not, it's not what's being promoted, so it's like <laughs> what you have to go searching for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Yeah, when I was when I went to go do ayahuasca, one of the most memorable things was the the music portion of it, and not you know when they were like beating on the drums and when they were like making saying these chants and these different songs and stuff that f just you could feel it just moving energy within yourself, mm -hmm. and that's what music is supposed to do. It's supposed to move energy in a but in in a good way, you know. Yeah, that's gonna bring healing to you. That's gonna bring you know good emotions and good feelings good you know it's it's supposed to be good it's supposed to be healing and because you know it's vibration and the the world was created with sound yeah you know the if you go by the bible god spoke the universe into existence he yeah. said let there be light yeah you know so it, that means everything is vibration and yeah i think it's amazing if you could tap into that natural frequency that the world that the that the most high is putting out there yeah because it's still there it's just faint like you said it's not promoted or anything so it's like you do have to look for it but it's still there yeah yeah and even in the bible it says that the most high's favorite praise is when you sing to him. Mm. yeah so i think I think it's just it's good to have that discernment and to do your best to not let the the demon music into your life and I know it's catchy and I know it's like you know it's all around you and everything but if you could do your best to stay away from it then it's only going to do good for your life yeah that's you definitely know, it's better to just focus on positive music healing music and you know things that you would want your kids to also sing around you yeah yeah, yeah i know like today uh we were listening to that song respira oh yeah and um well we were making tortillas uh -huh. 
And Junior was like singing the whole the whole lyrics, even the parts in the different language. <laughs> and I was just like, okay. And then he's like, oh, look at mom, look at mom. This song makes me want to dance. Yeah. And he's all dancing. And then he's like, Papi Josue has one song that makes me dance. And then this song makes me <laughs> dance. And I was like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and and it's good because, I mean, my parents did their best to keep me away from that music and stuff. But obviously going to school, there was yeah. no avoiding it. You know, making friends, there's no avoiding it. But, I mean, that's, thank the most high our kids are going to be homeschooled. Yeah. You know, cause, Damn, man, like, yeah, that's, like, why you can't keep it away. It's because yeah. you send your kids off with, you know, who knows who, and they're listening to who knows what, and they don't have conscious parents, so they're just listening to whatever, and it's yeah. just, like, it just becomes a friggin' mess. <laughs> <laughs> a mess. A friggin' mess. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah, well, the same with my son, because even though he's he's not going to school, he goes to his dad, yeah. and then over there, they... You know, like his uncle listens to crazy music, and well, even him, because I've heard him like when he drops him off. Like I've heard some <laughs> oh, stuff yeah. he's bumping while he's in the car. I'm like, damn, why? Yeah, I know that's why it's like crazy. But um, but today when I realized that he could sing all the lyrics, even like the ones that were not in the language, yeah. Um, I was like, oh, I need to play these songs more often because he's just gonna catch on like by himself. Yeah, and even like the Spanish songs that I sing, he'll try yeah. like singing them too. Yeah, stuff, he so. sings them too. So that's good because right now I most, especially to my son, I'm always singing to him. I'm yeah. always singing like you know songs that are talking about the Most High and singing good vibrations. Yeah, everything good that I think they need to hear at this age. You know, and then Junior is definitely looking up to you in that sense because then he comes and sings him. <laughs> Songs too, even though they're not the same songs. But you know how you say his name, like Yahweh, oh, yeah. and then Junior will do the same yeah. thing. <laughs> yeah. And so I'm like, okay. And Junior's been on a little singing craze right now because he's been making his own songs. Yeah, he's he's been singing a lot lately. So now is a good time for us to just show him good music, you yeah, know, and things. And explain to him the power of music and, you know, how it does give praises to the most high, you know. Yeah. And I think that's a beautiful thing because there's nothing more innocent than a child singing their heart out. You yeah. Know? And they don't care if they sound good. They don't, yeah. They're oblivious to that, you know. And they're just singing. I think that's good because as we get older, we get shy. Like it took me forever to freaking want to sing in front of people and stuff. Yeah. So I started singing to my plants because <laughs> they can't tell me to shut up. <laughs> you know? They can't tell me I suck and stuff. You know, so like yeah. it's it's a, but it's a good thing because I think everybody should sing. Like yeah. nowadays, people are so used to being spoiled to good singers yeah because we get it online and those are yeah. the only ones that get promoted and liked yeah. and shared and everything which is good i'm not saying there's nothing wrong with that but at, at the same time it's like anybody should sing because it's not just something set aside for people who actually have a very yeah. beautiful voice yeah it's set for anyone who wants to sing praises who wants to because i mean there's a reason why we have something called organs in our body uh, and th there's organs in the churches yeah. the churches used to be these temples of music mm. that's all they were used for was music because music heals they would yeah. have crystals in them and they would sing and play these instruments that are vibrating all in this crazy frequency and then you would just sit there and take it in that's why like even sound baths are being popular again mm. because people realize like yeah if you just sit there and let these frequencies work within your body you know then it's able to actually heal you yeah that's so true because one time um when i went to lightning in the bottle uh -huh. um they had like different little tents for different things and there was one for um the sound bath mm. and you just lay there and they're like playing like the well i don't know because it was like different ones like it was like the the bowl what yeah is it? the singing bowls. the singing bowls and then they also had like they were just playing music too with like instruments yeah and um wow like just laying there and i think we laid there for like 15 minutes and even those 15 minutes felt like 
a new me. I don't know. Like, yeah. my whole body was tingling, and I just felt, like, really light. And I was like, whoa, I need to sit through this more often. But, like, I haven't ever since, and yeah. it's so sad. Yeah, no, we need to get some. <laughs> <laughs> Which, uh, yeah, to me, they're very, very powerful. And it it is because if you tune, your body has a certain frequency, a natural frequency. If you tune... All the, and these things are naturally tuned to that frequency. Yeah. You know? And even, like, the guitar, the drums, yeah. they're all playing, they're all, um, you know, playing to a certain tone that your body resonates with. Yeah. And that, because if you think about it, you know, sound can penetrate through anything. Mm -hmm. That's why, unless it's a soundproof room or whatever, but <laughs> I'm talking about your body, you know? Like, if you're playing music at someone... That means every single cell is being penetrated with that vibration. Mm. So it's able to dig in there deep, yeah. deep, 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 you know, and able to work in at the microcosmic level, you know. And it's crazy. I'll talk about this one experience I had when I did mushrooms by myself, like maybe a couple years ago, where I had, I think that night, I had like three or four visions that came true later on, right? Mm. And what happened where how i got these visions i was playing those sound bowls and <laughs> like i was sitting on this couch <laughs> and then like as the the vibrations were going it was getting super intense to where my whole body just went like this <laughs> it, like all just came close together like just tied in together and it was pointed right at the speaker and i was just like i couldn't move i was just like and i couldn't move like, I would try to break out of it, and boom, and I would just go right back to that position. And so I just, I was like, all right, I accepted it. And then at that point, I was, I don't know, I was stuck in that for like 20 minutes, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> just stuck in this position. But while I was stuck in this that position, I had all these visions coming into me. Mm. And then later on, these visions came true. That's the trippy part. Oh, wow. You know? So I was like, whoa. That it was, was like crazy. an antenna. Yeah, that's what, I, <laughs> that's what I felt like. It was just like, dang, and it was crazy because I don't know, man. Yeah, it was, it was just a wild. <laughs> it was a wild night, you know. But uh, yeah, it's just it, music is such an interesting topic, and mm. it's so beautiful and so it, it's a tool, just like anything else. Yeah, just like anything else in this world, like. It's not just evil and it's not just good. Yeah. It's just what it is what it, it is. is. And we do with it what we choose. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's a lot of people and there's a lot of people in control who know how powerful it is. Yeah. And they decided to use it for evil. Exactly. But now we could decide to use it for good. Yeah. I guess one of the last things I want is it, it, to know how powerful it is, too, is like they there's actually weapons that they created that are just... Uh, sound technology mm. and they'll literally just blast you with sound and they use it to torture people and they use it like in um riot groups and protesting like against protesters and stuff like that mm. and it's just sound oh that's crazy because um actually it was like a lot of years back um they had this like advertisement billboard in i don't know new york or something crazy oh yeah and it was like a scary movie advertisement uh -huh. and then like when you got to a certain like uh feet from it yeah like you would start hearing like oh kill yourself and things like that in your head yeah. and then you would look around like is everybody here this hearing this and nobody else was hearing it only you because you were right by the billboard yeah and then when I looked more into it, I guess they were trying to use these also in the bus. So, like, whenever you would, like, put your head, like, against the window or, like, whatever, like, and you're so close to the bill to the advertisement, like, you would start hearing the advertisement. That's and then Good. now, sorry, right, I looked it up again because, like, uh -huh. I was trying to find that video. And um, I find out that now it's, like, even, like, like they even have, like, dance floors and stuff like that where you'll be dancing and it's a spotlight and you can only only if you're in that spotlight can you listen to that song oh. and so everybody's dancing but different spotlights are on them so they're all d listening to different songs on the same dance floor yeah it's so crazy how they could target 
you like that. Yeah. Yeah, I seen the same thing, but I didn't see the the advertisement that was telling people to kill them. But I saw when they were like first introducing, like, oh look, if you stand here, you could hear the advertisement. But oh, yeah. as soon as you go f- further away from it, you can't. Yeah. So now they have targeted sound frequencies or fr- sound waves. To be able to, oh, yeah, wherever you go, yeah. like, now you're getting these messages in your head. So, like, okay, they did it loud enough to where you can hear it, but what if they put it down to a certain extent to where you can't hear it anymore? Mm. But you're still listening it because you're mm. still going by, but it's so faint. It's almost like this little tiny yeah. whisper, you know, yeah. but they're still telling you, oh, obey government, kill yourself, all <laughs> this, you know, all this And crap. it feels really ugly, like, because um, when I used to work at Del Taco, yeah. we used to wear headsets. And you could talk to each other through the headsets. And uh, my friend, she um, she used to work with me, too. And then I remember one time, like, she was, like, in the headset, like, saying, like, stupid things. Like, kill, like I don't know if she was saying kill yourself, but she was saying, like, go hurt yourself. Like, oh, things like yeah, that. Yeah. Like, and I was just, like what the heck like stop like it was almost scary because i knew it was her and i knew it's coming through the headset but like just hearing a voice telling you that is like really scary and i think that's what happens to well i don't know it could be also because i know some people that like could hear voices Mm -hmm. like even inside their own homes yeah but like they're like normal but then out of nowhere like sometimes they'll just like hear voices to do crazy stuff to themselves or something and i'm like what if like the frequency is actually like that that like they have like some type of um like the government has some type of like sound going to these homes or something and then that's why like certain people can hear these things because it's a little bit weird and there is this new neighborhood that they 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 would hear um birds all the time Oh, and, and they then, would never see them, huh? Yeah, they would never see them. So they're like, what the heck? Where is, are these bird sounds coming from? And it turns out that they just had speakers all over with the bird sounds. Yeah, that's so creepy. Yeah. That's so creepy. And it, it's true because I remember in like eighth or ninth grade, my friend was like, oh, look at this frequency that uh, adults can't hear. Mm. So he would play it in class and then all the kids would be like, ah, turn that off or whatever and the teacher had no clue what was going on oh, wow. and then i was like oh damn that's crazy so there is a way to s- target certain demographics of people yeah you know and it, and if you've given them your dna and stuff mm. like that then who's to say that they're not able to attach your dna to these frequencies because your dna is a frequency yeah you know so what if they match your frequent your frequency of your dna to their target system where they could target certain oh let's say let's let's target freaking you know native americans let's Mm. target these people and let's start putting these sounds into their heads you know yeah who's to say they can't do that yeah yeah exactly because they're not going to tell us exactly what they're doing yeah we know a lot but it's only like like what we know is only a fraction of what they can do yeah that's for sure Damn, we got negative again. We got dark again. Sorry. <laughs> it's just crazy wild. So like, hard. this government is, like, crazy wild. It's so hard not to go there, you know? But it's, I was trying to end it on a more positive <laughs> but, um, um, Look up Icaros on YouTube. <laughs> for real. After going, just listen to good music. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> make songs. good music. If you make know, as music. a matter yeah. of fact, if you do make good music, then let us know in the comments so we yeah. can tag you. Yes. Yeah, that's a good that's a good positive. <laughs> <note>. <laughs> let us know about your good music that you make. We would love to listen to it and to share it. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. So thank you guys for being here once again. Thank you, my lovely wife. Yeah. That was another good conversation. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Um, please like and comment on the video. We will see you guys next time. Next time, peace and love. Bye.